I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're delighted to welcome back one of our favorite guests. Her name is Heather Lucas, also known as Jazzy Joy. She has written a mesmerizing tale called Anxious Annabelle and the Mysterious 88 Keys. The author weaves a narrative where Annabelle's vivid dreams guide her transformation through the world of piano. Crafted by an experienced piano mentor, this story is a tribute to tenacity and the triumph over challenges. We are delighted to have Jazzy Joy here join us today on Spotlight. We thank the team at Sweet Spire Literature Management for helping us put her in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support writers like her by subscribing to our channel. Heather, so good to see you today. Welcome back to our show. Hi, how are you, Logan? Everything is great. It's uh, end of summer here in the States. It's the end of winter there in Australia. It's in the evening here, at the morning there. Everything's opposite, but all is good. Your book is great. We talked about it during our last broadcast, Anxious Annabelle and the Mysterious 88 Keys. I think it's a great way to introduce children to piano and to keep the kids who are taking piano hooked and interested in this mysterious object that has the 88 keys. Let's talk a little bit about the book once again for our viewers who aren't familiar with it yet. Sure. Um, I, I've, I've often felt as a piano teacher that um, children have a lot of challenges mm -hmm. and they don't really these days tend to have... Um, ways of figuring things out and half the time I feel like I'm a psychologist okay. in the lessons so um yeah I I just I just felt that writing a book perhaps was a way of of showing that you know things aren't always doom and gloom and that when you work hard you do get a result and uh yeah we spend a lot of time um, showing children how to get over difficulties, how to um, zone in on a problem and keep working at it um, until it comes right. And, yeah, they've perhaps not often got the concept of that in other things that they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a wonderful book. The illustrations are amazing as well. And I understand you created those too. Tell us about them. The cover is magnificent. It really catches your eye. Such vivid colors, such cool detail. So um, I've always done some art. Uh, I did a, a course um, at what we call TAFE. Mm -hmm. um, that's like a tertiary education uh, arena and uh, but one of the things that I've not been that great at was the faces mm -hmm. and so that was that was my challenge was mm -hmm. to um, get get something that I could show I could draw a face and paint a face so I took up a special course on that mm -hmm. and that's where I've come by the cover of uh, and and Anxious Annabelle was through that painting course, and yeah, I, I figured I, I I got a lot better at painting faces now. So Absolutely. that that was yeah, and um yeah, there was another one in there that's got like a mother and daughter uh, illustration that came from the same course as well. So I was quite pleased that I'd uh, made a bit of a shift there. Um. Yeah, it's always and, great to stretch your boundaries. What were you going to say? Um, oh, just um, that I love nature. I uh, love taking photos of sunsets and sunrises. I'm quite hooked on them. Hmm. And uh, so often my my paintings are about things out in nature. So that also contributed to the book. Uh, yeah. I'd um, love to spend more time perhaps doing that in in some years ahead. Well, you're pretty busy right now with your music school. Tell us about that. Uh, tell us about the students who come and uh, and uh, and how it works. 
So just at the moment, we've finished exams. Yay! <laughs> Always a good so, feeling. Yeah, the, it's <clears throat> quite challenging to get about, I don't know, there's about 24 students that have had their exams this last Friday and mm -hmm. Thursday. And to get all of those students ready right at the same day is pretty challenging uh, and because, you know, everyone doesn't uh, bloom at the exact same time, but somehow we have to magically have them bloom on the exact day ready for that examiner. He sat here behind me in the corner listening to the students. Um, so, yeah, it was a big relief to have that done. And yeah. very, very stressful for the teachers and very stressful for the students and stressful for the teachers, uh, sorry, teachers, uh, parents listening right. as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hence the so, name Anxious Annabelle. We were all anxious Annabelles that day, I'd imagine, during exams. Absolutely. Somebody absolutely. measuring every note, every keystroke. Now, I hear you've got some news on the animation front when it comes to Anxious Annabelle and the mysterious 88 keys. Tell us about that. So uh, Sweet Spire has uh, given me the idea that we ought to start a little animation of of the uh, book. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's uh, in the process of getting started right now. So it'd be interesting to see how that comes out, what it looks like. Yeah. That'll be exciting to see your imagery come to life, your words come to life. And they're all different types of learners in this world. There are visual learners. There are, you know, text learners. So for the kids that are more likely to watch a video or watch a streaming channel, this might be perfect for them, a perfect fit. As I recall, Anxious Annabelle was modeled after a real child, right? Absolutely. Yes, she's uh, she's still around. She uh, finished her certificate of performance mm -hmm. exam, and that's sort of at about university level. Um, so that that was a pretty big achievement and takes quite a while to prepare the pieces, maybe two years. And, uh, yeah, all done. So we're That's pretty That's wonderful, pretty... wonderful. So uh, yeah. she's immortalized in the book now and she's done very, very well as a student. She's mastered um, those mysterious 88 keys, obviously. <laughs> She sure has. She's been playing for, for a musical just in the past few weeks. So much so the hours that she did, she had a sore, sore arm. We were a little worried about her actually getting the exam done. But right. she did it. Uh, so, yeah, we're really pleased with uh, how everything's turned out. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm sure it was a repetitive stress injury by... Uh practicing so much practice 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 is good but too much leaves you with carpal tunnel so you got to be careful that's for sure tell yes, me a little do. bit about your artwork you're looking to expand that part of your life a little bit aren't you yes yeah, so i i you know when i do art at the moment it's a a snatched few minutes yeah uh, in between what what i do but yeah, I would really love to spend a lot more time on it when I'm not just grabbing minutes but just, yeah, taking a little bit of time. But, um, yeah, I just haven't uh, haven't haven't come down from the, the, the pitch of all these exams and, yeah. oh, and, and the concert very soon. That's the other thing. Okay. So we... we yeah, so we finish having the exams and while the students are hot with their pieces, we get them to play in front of all of the parents. So that's going to be another special time for everyone. Uh, yeah. yeah. That sounds like an exciting event. I'm sure that the kids are excited to show off their skills. They've spent a lot of long hours rehearsing and practicing. And now mom and dad and aunts and uncles and grandmas and grandpas can come hear them tickle those ivories a little bit, right? Yeah, it's it, it's the culmination of yeah, just being able to show what what they've been working on for so long. 
And, uh, yeah, not so much the parents because they've been listening to those songs for nine or ten months now, but yeah. <laughs> for everyone else's parents, it's actually really nice. Exactly. So you're sharing, you're sharing it around this way and, yeah. Wonderful. Really and where is the concert held? Actually, I, I um, have it at the Baptist Church just around the corner. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely venue and they have a lovely piano like mine, a grand piano. So, uh, yeah, it's just a really nice, pleasant place to be. And I think it relaxes the students as well. So, yeah, we're off there in about 10 days. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, a lot of exciting news we had to talk about today. Anxious Annabelle is coming out in animation form, and we're looking forward to that. Exams are done. Whew. Always yeah. talk about that, an upcoming concert, and you'll be expanding your artwork as well. You are a busy lady or the busiest lady in showbiz, but that's <laughs> a, a good, fun life. The busier you are, the more interesting your life is, that's for sure. Heather Lucas has written a wonderful book under the pseudonym or the pen name of Jazzy Joy. It is called Anxious Annabelle and the Mysterious 88 Keys. It is a wonderful story of a child and her quest to conquer the piano and the obstacles she faces and the way she actually is able to uh, become the person that she became uh, in real life. A uh, uh, an accomplished pianist. We are delighted Very. to have uh, Heather join us here today on Spotlight. Thank you so much, Heather, for joining us. No problem. Loved it. Thank you. Always a pleasure speaking with you. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time on Spotlight. <laughs>